Praise the Lord. I come to you in the name of King Jesus the Christ. I'm Clarence Leroy Hill, a nobody, a sinner, just another person who the Lord has saved. Um, I came to y'all today. I want to give you a testimony of the time I actually died, left this world. Jesus is the only way. I have to say that. A million times Jesus is the only way the only way there is no other way to heaven there's no other way to the Father but let me get into it um we're just riding down the road me and my homeboy on the highway um, we had just come back from a, a trip well we we're on our way back from a trip and um, hot day pleasant out just enjoying listen to the radio and all of a sudden, my friend, he got a flat tire on the front, had a blowout. And the first thing that popped in my head was, man, it's too hot to be changing a blowout. And, um, but the blowout was on the front tire. And um, he ended up losing control. And before I knew it, we were headed off-road towards a line of row of trees. You know how some highways got just a row of trees a little bit back off the highway where well, we're headed to one of those and that's the last thing I remember and my last thought was I don't feel like changing the flat that was my last thought while I was alive so anyways um out of nowhere I felt just this uplifting feeling like I felt literally the weight of the world being taken from me um I felt burdens being taken from me everything gravity everything being taken from me and um and, and it was an uplifting feeling to die is uplifting never fear death it's uplifting especially if you know jesus but um it's an uplifting feeling and um i was aware the whole time but so when i say i came to i was aware the whole time i was just it was a slight pretty fast transition and out of nowhere, I was in this black place. Now, let me describe this place to you. I mean, black is just darkness. Like, darkness as in, not in the absence of light, but it was dark as in the absence of there was nothing there. There was nothing but blackness. It was so dark, it was like the dark and the black were just eating each other. That's all there. There was nothing there. And my first thought was, yeah, I just died. And my second thought was, there's no time here. You can instantly feel that there's no time. You can feel it. You can feel it instantly that there's no time. And um, I'm just looking around. I didn't know where I was. Didn't know how to move. I didn't even think to look at myself to see what I looked like. I was just in the middle of complete darkness. And, um, and I began to panic just... And, like, being that there's no time, 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 like, prolongs. There's no time, but just for lack of a better word, we're, we're born in time. So, just for lack of a better word, everything is prolonged. So, it seemed like I was there for an eternity, but I, I knew it wasn't that long. So, just as I began to panic, um, out of nowhere, this white light from a distance. It's very small, barely could see it, but it, it was getting bigger and bigger. And as it got bigger, I realized it was coming towards me. And for some reason, I knew that that light was moving faster than light is supposed to move. I don't know how I knew that. But I could tell that the light was moving faster than light moves. I have no idea how. But um, the light got closer. And it was racing towards me, like racing straight at me. And I knew I was facing eternity. I'm like, wow, I knew I was about to face judgment, or, or that's what I thought. But um, anyway, the light touched me. It finally touched me. I mean, the light was coming, like, looked like billions of light years away, but it was coming so fast, like, probably the fastest, got to be the fastest thing in the universe, but I don't know that. Disregard that. Lord, be with me. Got me, Lord. Um, as soon as the light touched me, I felt all the love in the universe, literally all the love in the universe, I felt that it. it was overwhelming. And it started to envelop me. 
is like pulling me into it, you know? And um call my name Clarence. My name's Clarence Leroy Hill. Call my name Clarence. But it was much deeper. Um when he called my name, I could tell it was Jesus. I mean, I heard it, but I felt it even more than I heard it to the point where everything about me knew who was talking to me. Like, there was no doubt that was Jesus. He said, Clarence. He said, Clarence. Like, I, it's, trying to, to describe his voice is, all I can say is he has the most complete voice you could ever hear. It's complete. It's it, it's just complete. I had, that's gonna mean something to somebody, but that's the best description I can give for his voice. It's just complete. Call my name, Clarence. I felt it. And I heard it. And um, call my name again, Clarence. And it caught me off guard because my name is like I said, it's Clarence the Roy Hill. But my dad's name is Clarence, but I'm not a junior, so my family calls me Leroy. So I always thought that God would call me Leroy, you know. It's more, it's a more personable for me to be called Leroy. And um, that's why, uh, but God, he's going to call you by your first name. Your first name. That's why a lot of religions want you to change your name to something that's not in the book of life. God knows you, and he calls you by your first name. So anyway, he calls me a second time, Clarence, and I felt it all over me, and 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 I'm in, and I'm just enveloped in all the love in the world, right? And he's he's like come hither in me, and he's enveloping me in, like like drawing me into the light to wherever he came from, and um, I thought I was facing eternity, judgment, you know, and I felt bad, y'all, like. Even though I had lived, I thought I made great sacrifices, you know, to be righteous and to be in the good grace of God. And, you know, you do right, but y'all, I was not ready. He called my name that second time. And even though I'm enveloped in all the love in the world, y'all, I felt bad. And I said, um, not yet. I just wasn't ready to face whatever I was about to face. I just wasn't ready. And, um... Called my name again for the third time. And I popped up off the ground. And my homeboy had been in the wreck. We had both been in the wreck. The car flipped six times. I got thrown 20 feet in the air. And I was laying on the side of the road. And his Crown Vic looked like a convertible. It was smashed. But the car landed right side up right in front of the row of trees along the highway and this guy behind us white guy he gets out he saw the whole thing he's um he had already on the phone with the um with the ambulance he's yelling at them but when we walked up his face was already red crying he lost his mind he's pointing at us no no no, he's pointing at us like we did something wrong. He's screaming out, there's no way either one of us should be alive. And he, he's just losing it. And his face is red, y'all. He was pretty much in worse shape than we were. But um, I told him what happened. And I told my homeboy what happened. And um, the guy continued to cry, but he accepted. It's like it, he knew it had to be something. Like, you're right, I did die. But he knew it was something. But um, it edified him a little bit. He still cried, and he still everybody was shocked. It was it was crazy. But um, Jesus is real. He's absolutely the only thing out there, y'all. When I was out there, y'all, there is literally no one else who could save me. No one else who could save me. No one. When Jesus say, I am the way, the truth, and the life, he's, he's, he's the only person who even knows the route to go from earth to heaven as far as taking something that was born here. You know what I'm saying? He's the only person who even knows the way. He was the first to do it. And he's the, he... Thank you, Lord.
thank you. I don't thank you enough. But um, so I'm still on the side of the road. I'm still on the ground this whole time while he's talking to me. Even when the ambulance get there, ambulance get there, I'm perfect. I'm joking. I never miss a beat. I'm right back to my normal funny self. Got the ambulance crying, laughing. Just you know, I didn't get a chance to tell him what happened. But as he, anyways, as he left, as soon as he turned around. I turned the other way and asked my homeboy what day it was. I couldn't remember what day it was. Coming back into time, I just wasn't all the way there yet. And so um, they made me go to the hospital. They said, um, check me out. Got to the hospital. I couldn't remember any telephone numbers. Both my phones got smashed. Um, I couldn't remember any telephone numbers. So after about 10 minutes, I remembered my grandmother's telephone number. My blessed grandmother, thank you. Um, she's the one who made me learn the books of the Bible, and she's the one who had me praying in front of the church as a fifth grader. I didn't, un I didn't understand it when she had me do that, but the first time I got up there in front of the church, it made perfect sense. But um, only thing about that, remembering my grandma's number, is. She died a month before that. She died about nine days short of a month before that. And um, so after about five minutes, I remember her brother's number, who had the same number except for the last number was uh, di the last digit was different. So I was able to get to that, and I contacted them. And they called up to my mom and daddy, got my sisters down to come get me, y'all. But Jesus is the only way. Anybody you love, anybody you really, really love, y'all, make sure they know Jesus. Make sure they, they really believe in Jesus, y'all. Jesus is the only way, y'all. And I wanted to make this less than five minutes because I know a lot of people going to look at it and, you know, skim past it because I've done it before. But Jesus is the absolute only way he's the only way y'all he's the only way praise the lord i thank you lord dear lord i pray that this edifies our saints lord i pray that this helps grow someone faith lord we need faith lord we need you dear lord i pray that you send the holy spirit send that helper send our comforter and guide lord to let him know this is the truth of my king jesus to christ and I'm thankful, and I'm thankful for you for watching. I love you. I'd do anything for you. I was taught love by the greatest, still being taught. I'm thankful. Jesus is the only way. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. Not my will, but thy will be done. Jesus is the only way. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your time. I love you. I love you. I love you. Praise God. King Jesus the Christ.